Good morning. We're at Sam Hostick's at Woodmansey near Hull today and we're just having a, a nice pleasure session. There's a cap, tench, roach, bream, eyed. So hopefully we'll get a few out today. Fish on. It's a bream. It's got to be foul up, surely. Ah, oh, it is. It's in its tail. Not exactly what I wanted. Sorry, Mr. Bream. Oh, not a bad start. Fish of a pound. Poor thing. Oh, is it another bream? Oh, it's foul looked again. Another one in the tail. <laughs> That's what I did last time I fished here. I cast in towards them reeds over there on on corn. Is it recording? Okay. Yeah. I might come round in the sun then the same. This is what it's gonna be like. I've had two bream of about a pound, the second one was about a pound and a half but I don't know why, they've both been in the tail. And I'm not hard on bottom either. I've come about six inches off bottom. It's gonna be a cat, or is it a tench? Oh, it is a cat, yeah. Where's your net? Uh, where is it? Oh yeah. Yeah. The one with the island in. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's the sort of the more specimen lake, isn't it? Yeah. And what was that on corn? Yeah. Oh, it's not a bad little fish. Yeah. It's been caught a few times, hasn't it? I can't wait to get my new camera. Eh? Hey? 
<laughs> no, I'm telling you. DJI Action 3. I got a, a rather good. <laughs> they just sat under there. I mean, it, it's perfect for a minute. <clears throat> it's like over there, if you can get just in front of them reeds, you can, can you see the carp in there, banging away at the reeds? Yeah. I was casting past that end one and dragging it literally about an inch away from it. And there's a there's a lot of fish. <clears throat> it's instant, isn't it? I mean like like that with a little whip, three meter whip and maggot. And what did you have the gudgeon on? Worm as well? It, it was literally like the tip of a worm. Yeah. Into the, the grass itself. Eh? Oh, it come off. I managed to clip it into the grass itself. No, no, it's that. Well, that's why I said though, it's solid in there. I literally cast it and it just I didn't even put the rod down Oh, oh, oh no. Game off. All right, let's go and have a walk again. Yeah, yeah that one I lost, it snapped me. I had four pound bottom on as well. I thought that would have been enough. I'm gonna move in case that twats me if it comes off. Where are you now? Oh, in the brambles. Bit more depth to it by the look of it. Yeah, just make sure they don't get in that uh, that grass down there. Yeah, it looks done now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was a bit lucky. Did your hook come off? That's what it did to me. And I had a, a four pound bottom on. Oh, it is. Yeah. 
So it must have thrown it as it thingied. Mm. I'll that. Yeah, lovely. And it's got a nice mouth on it. Mm. It's got some nice colour on it at the back as well. Mm. Lovely. Another bream. I'll keep still. Another bream. Another bream. <sighs> oh, the oak's come out. How nice is that? <laughs> Another one about a pound. And that was on eight mil pellet. They're bombed out, aren't they? And they just come straight to the surface and give up. That was my first hair rigged fish. I've got double first hair rigged fish. I got it on double corn hair rigged. I've tried it loads of times and never caught a thing. Oh, I just can't get away from the bream. You're just doing it so I have to keep walking backwards and forwards, aren't you? Eh?
got the right belly on him, hasn't he? Lovely. What's that, your fourth, fourth one now? Something like that, third, fourth. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> That's unbelievable that. I moved my float oh, and it's come off. I moved my float and dropped it there when I was doing something and Rod bent over. <laughs> Yeah, not to be, not to be. Ah. Is that a pheasant in there? Oh, you snagged up. Oh, no. Hey. Yeah, I've had three, four, five fish under my feet. Every time I drop a piece of sweet corn in, a roach takes it. Hey? Probably wrapped yeah that was easy wasn't it oh. yeah you're on them today I've I've lost two but this peg does work well you've got so much to fish to haven't you it's like anywhere along there, you're going to catch them. And like I said, down there, it seems to be later in the, the day it really picks up down here. Because they, they, I don't know if, if they're literally waiting for, for you to move around and then they just move in. Because I know at the end of the day that everyone chucks the, the bait in and stuff like that and then they just wait, don't they? I've just been pushing every yeah that's what i've been doing but it's like i said every time i put in i get roach now um, which is better than the skimmers but they're still slimy the roach he's swimming past and i dropped sweet corn in front of him <laughs> oh it feels better Get the net ready. Oh. Woo. Oh. It's a lump. Oh. You want to turn. Oh, is he ready? Oh, nearly. I should have got him that time. There we go. Oh. Hey? Oh, go on then. Here we go. I think he's nearly ready now. Uh, he's definitely, definitely slowing down. <laughs> it's soon as you get them in the shallow they don't like it do they I mean they sit there but when you want them in it oh come on
Come on. God dang it. Right, here we go. No. This time, it, it, yeah, he's, he's ready now. He's rolling. Woo! Whew. You got enough there? Hey? Oh, that's a, that's a good six, I reckon. Oh, this is nice chunk, isn't it? There you go, hair rigged corn. Lovely. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. They do it every time on here, don't they? <laughs> I'll just go straight back over there. Yeah. <laughs> They're hard work, aren't they? Yeah. I'll have to edit that bit out. <laughs> I know. Ooh. Tap very much.